This patient was referred to me when he was nine years old. So he is 13 now. So nine, uh, when he was nine years old, so four years ago, and take a look here, you can see. Four, tooth number 19. Okay, so tooth number 19, large decay approximating the pop and poor child has had all the signs and symptoms of, of irreversible pulpitis. So we had to sedate him uh, four years ago and uh, basically do apexification for him. And um, that's what we did. That's what we did. Take a look. I'm trying to collect my thoughts here, making the video. I want to see which, which, what, what should I tell you first and when. Anyways, so you can see decay into the pulp. As I said, irreversible pulpitis, and you can see open apices here as well. You can see how open the apices are. So we had to do apexification on this patient. Nine, nine years old, four years ago. All right, so take a look. This was immediately after we did apexification and I did the permanent buildup for him as well, as you can see. So I used MTA, MTA plugs, placed MTA plugs, and then uh, followed by gutter perch and sealer and then built the tooth up permanently. This is another angulation. These are all MTA. MTA plugs, MTA plug here, here, and then got our perch and sealer, and then we built built the tooth up permanently. And again, here's the date as you can see. And the and I told mom that you know he's perhaps maybe a little bit young for a for a uh, for a crown, but definitely uh, make sure that that you take him to his dentist so his dentist can later on crown the tooth. And mom agreed. Um, well, uh, they were here. Today, uh, four years later, for me to look at tooth number 30, uh, he had cracked tooth number 30, a big cavity. And uh, we have a four year post op of tooth number 19. And take a look. And again, here, this again was immediately after we had done the root canal epexification of, on tooth number 19. We did it, of course, in one appointment while, while it was sedated. He has dental phobia. And this was today. Take a look here. So this tooth, unfortunately, was never crowned. Now there's some decay here. But apexification worked. Look. The roots are fully developed now. Let me put them next to each other from the first time I saw him. And four years later, and this is, this is what apexification does for you. And here we go, take a look here. So this was before we did apexification four years ago when he was nine years old. And this was today. He's 13 now. So you see how open the apices of this tooth were? And here they are today. Matured. They're matured now. Matured apices. And again, here's the date as you can see today. All right, so four years post-op of apex apexification of tooth number 19 tooth is in full function patient is happy well they just now need to go have the tooth crowned he's old enough to get it get the tooth crowned but apexification worked perfectly so four years post-op of tooth number 19. Uh, mta apexification works and again, we did this in one appointment. Four years post-op of tooth number 19, apexification.